Do you accept change? Do you know how to embrace change? It is not the strongest or the most intelligent who will survive, but those who can best manage change. Change is the only constant in life. If you are not willing to change, it would mean that you are not willing to live. We are here to learn, grow, evolve, and eventually transform into our best self. It can be challenging to step into unfamiliar territory. At the same time, know that complacency is a trap. It's hidden in your comfort zone. It can be life-changing in a positive way, of course, to embrace change. You've got to prepare yourself for this. The sooner, the better. How do you embrace change? Firstly, make change work for you. Reframe your thoughts about every change you face. Find ways to benefit from change. Give these questions some serious thought. How can you complement change instead of contradicting it? Do you have to shift to another city or even country? Do you have to upgrade your skills? Do you have to start from scratch all over again? Do you have to let go of a lifestyle that no longer serves you, that has never actually served your best interest? Do you have to explore the depth of your creativity? Do you have to manage your commitments on reduced income? Whatever the change may be, find the one thing you can do to gain from it. Do it without any procrastination. It may be tough at first. You may even question your choices. Your confidence level, it may decrease. Persevere and you will come through. Be patient with yourself. Adapting to change and making it work for you, it takes time. Secondly, be ahead of change. Once you have gotten used to change, push yourself out of your comfort zone before life forces you to do so. Not because you're competing with someone, but because you're competing with yourself to become a better version of yourself in the future. Would you like to upgrade your website so that you can market your skills better online? Would you like to conduct a workshop to gain more recognition? What skills would you need for these upgrades? Would you like to double down on expanding your portfolio? What are the changes you can choose to invest in now so that you reap returns in the future? Constantly work towards these preempted changes. You're actually working to fulfill your desires. Be proactive. You will then reduce the number of root shocks you have to face. You will then be ahead of change whenever and wherever possible. Thirdly, use change to get rid of clutter in your life. However small or big a change, use it as the perfect excuse to make your life clutter-free. Clutter in the form of things, people, relationships, situations, 
expenditures, activities, and the list goes on. Free yourself from all that no longer serves your best interest. These clutter, they need not have anything to do with the change you're facing. That's the beauty of it. You're just making use of one change to clean up every other aspect of your life. Isn't that great? And why not? What better opportunity to make additional changes? By doing so, you're freeing up your mind, your space, and your energy for positivity and abundance to flow into your life. Clutter hinders your progress. It pollutes your mind and adversely affects your well-being. It can even compromise your health. Use change as a catalyst to cleanse your soul and remove all negativity, all toxicity from your life. Change is actually a blessing for you to rediscover yourself. Whether or not you admit it, you need change. Accept change as you would accept your friend. Use change as an opportunity to reach for your highest potential. Use change as an indispensable tool to equip yourself with skills and knowledge that ultimately leads you to prosperity. Work with change to create peace, stability, and happiness in your life, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. The secret of change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old, but on building the new.